33 story hotel and condo project. I'd probably be okay, like, like that. Okay, stop. Tap. This is a plan by the community for the community. This one here. <laughs> no problem, Ken. Thanks for having me. It's Kent Moga for Kelowna Now. How, how does it feel to see these havens out there all nicely marked with yellow lines and the bike sitting in a row? I, I got myself prepared for like a really big backlash and something going wrong and it's really amazing that it hasn't and we've been able to see this project kind of take off in the first few days and kind of be generally on its on its own and, and, and working well. We saw this group of seniors walk by. Are you considering giving this a try? Yeah, sure. So Me too. Okay, but you have to download an app first. Is that going to hold well, you back? You just have to sh I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> all these seniors will work on it, I'm sure. If you, How many have an iPhone? I don't know, we all have yeah. Okay, there you are. All right, and then, but how many are used to downloading a lot of apps? Not a lot. <laughs> no, okay. The odd one. Yeah. Not many, but I have done it. Yeah. Done so, but you you think you can do this? Oh, oh of course yes. I could. Oh, yes. But I I'd, I'd love to know this 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 here in the middle here. That's tells the tells you guys the center office where the bike is and so on. Is that right? That's right. So don't even think of stealing it. All right. No. <laughs> Otherwise. <yeah. laughs> Are you billed? Is this the yeah, well, you you got to give your credit card information, oh, 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 which fine. you know, yeah, and then and then it's the and then you're yeah. debited uh, yeah. a very modest fee. Sure, I see yeah. that. Okay, a so a dollar is dollar. not enough. How can now. a dollar be enough? Oh, you you think they should charge you more? <laughs> yes. Well, a dollar for how long? Okay. A dollar? An hour. An hour. Oh, a That's dollar. Very okay. reasonable. Now, how many spots so like this do you have? Matt, how many? Forty. Okay, there's forty of these spots in downtown Toronto. Wow. Okay, so hands up. How many people are going to give this a try? <laughs> you know, there's a little bit of reluctance to do anything that has the sort of stink of technology attached to being able to use it for people in a certain demographic. Yeah, they they seem pretty pretty happy about it, but uh, naturally, with uh, the technology we chose, there was an element of uh, needing to use a phone, those kinds of things. But at the end of the day, when you look at the process for other bike shares, it's it's just a little more complex in a manual way. To test out the program, uh, we'll just see how long it takes for me to go from curious to actually riding one of these bikes. So it's uh, 10, 12 a.m. now. Let's approach the bikes. So I think that uh, I'm able to scan to unlock the bike. So uh, I'm just going to see if I can do that. So far, so good, I think. Let's see here now. Aha! Uh -huh. Download in the App Store. I'm getting the app right now, so uh, it's very exciting. I have a choice of uh, five different bikes, but they look identical. Or do they have... Oh, I see that you can adjust the seat to any height. So I'll be looking forward to doing that. Welcome to Drop Bike. Swipe left to get started. Well, I'm already at them. It's, asking, it's showing me where I might find them on this map. Don't really need to do that, I guess. Okay, I need a lifeline. I need a lifeline. <laughs> okay, now I'm creating a profile. Okay, terms of use. Yada, yada, yada not really reading it but I'm gonna accept it I'm sure that it's all fair I have read and accept the term so now I'm I'm really lying allow drop bike to access my location oh yeah and uh, get a free ride why not apparently you get some free rides at the beginning It just unlocked itself, just like magic. And uh, I, I guess I'm off to the races. I've been spending a lot more time outside, like kind of walking around and kind of just, just seeing how people uh, interact with the bikes. They'll kind of walk over, kind of look at the directions, kind of tell their friend about it. That They might kind of look at their phone and download it or just kind of walk away, but with that information in their, their brain, it's, it's cool to see uh, people kind of reacting to something different in their, uh, their space. 
is this it or is there sort of a second phase? Like if, if there's a lot of uptake on this, does it expand into different neighborhoods? We're, we're just getting started, absolutely. This is like day three now. Um, and it's the first kind of wave of what we'll be seeing over the summer. Um, so the fact that it's kind of all concentrated downtown um, and, and there's, there's certain elements of the app that, uh, that kind of might, might change over time, but uh, generally this is like a very early beginning. We've been in talks with this provider about doing really, really interesting stuff in the future, which is going to be really exciting. So. All right, well, we'll stay tuned. Thanks very much, Matt Morona. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. By my count, that took about 10 minutes to get the whole thing from figure it out to actually riding going. Probably for the average person, maybe a little less than that, but uh, really not that hard.